Hello, and welcome back to the History Of series. Today we'll be adding to the archive something a little bit different. Instead of looking at a specific species or monster, we'll be looking at the Unbound Universe, a parallel universe to our end space that differed due to the Doctor being exiled to Hong Kong in 1997. This led to the Unbound Universe being radically different, so much so that the Doctor referred to his home reality as wrong. But anyway, let's get into it. On one planet, a great ruler decreed that no one need ever truly die. This ruler, known as Rassilon, gave his people the ability to renew their bodies and minds. If they grew tired of life, their spirits could wander in the Garden of Souls, known to us as the Matrix. They became the rulers of time and space. All races in the universe knew of them and feared them. It's from these people that the Unbound Doctor sprang. He left his home planet and became a renegade, as did the Master. Scaro, home to the Thals and Khalids, was targeted by an extra-dimensional species known as the Quatch. They manipulated a war between the Thals and Khalids to take control of Scaro. In the aftermath, Davros created the Daleks. He grew disappointed with his creations and was persuaded to join the Quatch, unaware of their involvement in the war. The Daleks left Scaro and split into two factions. One remained loyal to Davros and searched for him. The other, Renegade Faction, built an interstellar empire encountering the Doctor on numerous occasions. On Earth, Professor X became a popular TV series. It ran from 1963 to 1989 and followed a mysterious scientist travelling throughout time and space. During a visit to Earth, the unbound Doctor's TARDIS became stuck in the form of a British police box. In 1969, the Doctor met Alistair Gordon Lethbridge-Stewart and helped to prevent the great intelligence from invading London with an army of robot Yeti. Alistair then later became the Brigadier of the Unified Intelligence Task Force, or UNIT, facing numerous alien attacks including plastic purges, lizards which required the sacrifice of Mike Yates to stop, and the Ambassadors, who left a string of craters along North America. The Brigadier took drastic actions against these attacks, including bombing Surrey. In 1972, UNIT encountered the Renegade Daleks. Three Daleks were able to kill 72 men with ease. Due to Unit's many disastrous failures, Alistair was regarded as a dangerous crackpot and ultimately driven out from Unit. He eventually moved to Hong Kong and opened a pub, the Little England. The Master arrived on Earth in the 1970s and became trapped there, separated from his TARDIS. At first he worked for the United Nations, but then defected to China after being sent to investigate brain parasites there. He then used the parasites to create the k Lei divisions, zombie-like soldiers. After being put on trial by the Time Lords, the Doctor was exiled to Earth, arriving in Hong Kong on the eve of its handover to China in 1997, with his TARDIS fitted with an inhibitor so he couldn't leave. At the same time, the Master attempted to defect from China as he'd lost favour with the government, travelling to Hong Kong to obtain the last parasite to control the KLA divisions, as the Chinese government was planning to destroy the rest. The Doctor reunited with Alistair and encountered the Master, stopping his plan to obtain the last parasite. The parasite was left at the same site the government were bombing the rest, and the Doctor used that explosion to disable the inhibitor and escape Earth. The Master, on the other hand, was left trapped in Hong Kong, as the KLA divisions went mad. After many travels across time and space, the Doctor and Alistair arrived on Skaro, where they found the Thals under Dalek occupation. The Doctor first attempted to overthrow the Daleks, but learnt they were actually the Loyalist faction and had returned to protect the Thals from a coming attack by the Quatch. He and Alistair got the Thals and Daleks to work together against the Quatch, and discovered Davros was working with them. The Doctor revealed their part in engineering the war that crippled Davros, causing him to turn on the Quatch and send them back to their own dimension. Alistair chose to stay on Skaro to help the fledgling peace between the Daleks and Thals. Eventually, a great war broke out across time and space, though ultimately, by the end, no one could remember what it was about. The people of Tramaz were a key player on one side of the war, they activated a reality-warping weapon which caused them to forget what they'd done. When the war was at its worst, the Kareem were formed. Beings that believed knowledge was the root of all fighting, so sought to destroy all knowledge. The Unbound Doctor told Bernie Summerfield that he'd tried to help from the sidelines, but there was no way to stop the devastation, or if there was, he'd forgotten it in the shifting timelines. However, Mandeville claimed that the Doctor had been a main participant, called the Cautious Warrior for his strategy of settling up to his enemies, and cowardly stabbing them in the back. 
The doctor did try to help his people during the war, but found that they wouldn't take his advice. He also worked with the Unbound Master, but ultimately abandoned him, deeming his plan too insane. During the fighting, the human colony named itself Planet X, and the government drew up legislation to make the planet as boring as possible. Reflected in the architecture, which consisted of cubes, and everyone being assigned a number instead of a name, in the hopes of escaping the intention of the combatants. The war ended when the combatants ran out of weapons and galaxies. None of the survivors could remember what it was about, and the universe was dying, though the Doctor managed to buy a few more centuries by sacrificing some of his memories. Since everyone in the line of succession had been killed, as all of his people, bar two, were dead, the Doctor was left as ruler of the universe, a broken, dying, and almost empty universe, however. The Doctor tried to abandon his duties, as many of his subjects viewed him with contempt, and attempted to flee to the end space via the Gateway. His attempt to use Bernie Summerfield as an anchor to reach her universe failed, resulting in her coming back to his universe with him. They began travelling together in the broken universe. After the Master's failed scheme at the Emporium, the Doctor was forced to accept his responsibilities. He adopted the title President of the Universe, and built a political system, including a parliament, based in the remains of the Emporium at the Gateway. Meanwhile, Benny continued solo adventures across the universe, and the Doctor eventually sent her to excavate the legendary Apocalypse Clock on Merin. To his surprise, she actually found it, and he realised it could be used to create a safe zone from the universe's coming collapse. The Doctor organised the relocation of civilizations into the safe zone, having to negotiate with dictators to his frustration while also working on the clock. This took a toll on his mental health, so eventually Benny forced him to go to therapy. The Doctor devised a grand plan to forfeit the presidency and return Benny home, whilst also ensuring the universe had a future. He absconded from his duties, claiming to be in search of adventure, forcing Benny to track him down. Upon his return, Parliament began impeachment as he'd planned. Appearing before the Parliament, he antagonised them, and revealed that he could activate the clock, but wouldn't due to being afraid of what a sudden release of energy could trigger. The Master then arrived, and revealed that he would happily do so, and was subsequently inaugurated by the Parliament. The Doctor reconfigured his TARDIS so that when the Master activated the clock, it latched onto the energy, preventing the awakening of the Great Old Ones. He used the energy to travel with Benny to Endspace, confident that the safe zone was secure, and the Master would prove a good leader. Now he was without the Old One's power, and constrained by the Parliament. During the Master's reign, the Unbound Universe was threatened by an entropy wave that had been unleashed in Endspace. The Master travelled to Endspace, but was unable to stop the wave, and retreated to his universe while Cecil could. The timeline in which the entropy wave had been released was eventually negated by a paradox, saving the Unbound Universe. After the final end of the universe, the Master was the only thing left alive. He survived in a shielded bubble, sending a signal across the multiverse in hopes of rescue. After 10,000 years of waiting, he was finally rescued by the Dalek Time Strategist, who brought him to Endspace to help stop his counterpart's subversion of history. And that is the story of the Unbound Universe. An unfortunate universe completely wounded and eventually killed due to a single deviation. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you really enjoyed the video, then subscribe, as I'll be releasing more history of videos in the near future, so stay on the lookout. Thanks for watching.